Hello, my beautiful alchemists. Welcome to Elena's Alchemy. This is Elena for those new here. I'm an intuitive. Welcome back to all of my beautiful alchemists that tune in here every week. Uh, well, this past week, you only saw me one time. And that's because I've been taking some time. I've been moving my house around, as you can tell, because today we are meeting from a different space. <laughs> I felt that we needed this as a community. We, you know, the energy to sprouse it up a little bit and to create a space that is a little bit more warm, a little bit more intimate, where we can all just connect and connect with the divine. And hopefully you can, you know, grab a cup with whatever you love to drink. I have some tea here, some ginger tea and green tea and stuff like that. And hopefully you have a cup too and you can enjoy some time here with me. My intention is always to bring peace. My intention is to help us, including me, <laughs> unwind and come into a space of concentration, a space of inner peace and to connect also with spirit to see what insight is there available for us um, for the week ahead. I mean, this is a video for the week ahead, weekly energy reading. We are having a full moon in Capricorn leading up like in the next uh, two days. The day of me filming this is the 11th. On the 13th, we have the full moon in Capricorn. And then we are also going to talk about that. I feel that spirit has also something to chime in, chime in in regards to that full moon, some very particular energies. Uh, but before I dive right in, I want to say two things. <laughs> Number one, we have an amazing milestone. YouTube has opened <laughs> the community tab for this channel, which makes me so happy because now we can connect on a more like direct manner and not just, you know, waiting for me to post a video so that there's communication between us. I have already posted a poll where you can vote what kind of stuff you want to be seeing more of as content here on the channel. And yeah, I will be using the community tab to be posting little, nav lo little love notes, <laughs> little love notes from spirit messages uh, that I'll be pulling um, Maybe not on a daily basis, but when I feel that something is coming through, I will be posting these things there. And so like this, you guys can be getting a little bit of a hint or, a, you know, something. I have my bells here. I have my, I have some bells playing from my TV and there was silence suddenly. And I was like, is this thing playing still? <laughs> because it helps me focus. So, and yeah, the community tab, very, very nice. And also speaking about community, I noticed that we have just crossed the 500 subscribers benchmark, which is a big deal for me. We're over 500 alchemists here. It fills my heart with joy to be able to come on here and connect with you and to also read your comments and see that what I'm putting out, it is of value to you. I think that there's few things that feel so good in the heart for a creative and an intuitive and someone who is heart-based and service-oriented, um, you know, feeling valued, feeling like what we do is of value. And so thank you so much for everybody who has been, you know, coming here to the channel. Yeah, let me tune in so that we go ahead and read our messages. I do feel like saying like, there's this, oops, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just five of five of um, of pentacles. <laughs> There's this sense spirit wants to confirm or acknowledge about the fact that the previous week was a little bit weird for a lot of people. Spirit wants to acknowledge that. I know that it was a very transformational week for me, for myself. I'm still kind of a little bit like I'm kind of exiting this phase, but it was definitely very interesting. 
a lot of transformation, but you know, often that comes with growing pains or often transformation and change is kickstarted by something that is, I don't want to say painful, but let's say something that we realize is not working anymore, something that we realize is not sustainable anymore. And so we're like, ooh, this is uncomfortable. It has become uncomfortable. Or something blows up or we, we see something. I personally had a very interesting experience where I met a person I was actually planning to do a podcast with that person. I still am planning to do the podcast, but what happened was we, uh, you know, hopped on a Zoom call to see what we were going to talk about. And this discussion with this person, it just made me realize so many things about myself internally that it kickstarted this internal shift and this internal internal transformation and that's by the way how you know that the person you're having opposite of you you know they are a powerful healer if they are able to facilitate or or kickstart such a such a change such a shift um that is not necessarily always comfortable comfortable but in hindsight, very much needed. And so a lot of people, this, this is what it looked like for me, but a lot of people, Spirit wants to acknowledge that have been having their ups and downs with the downs highlighted. <laughs> Spirit is like holding a, a marker, a light under the, the word down. And so Spirit wants to acknowledge that we see you, we... Mm, implementation is the word that is coming through we are we're trying okay i'm also hearing the word the word strive striving and struggling so we are trying to lead you to see what through this struggling and striving is actually in need of shift that you release at all this idea that I need to be striving towards something but at the same time spirit is showing me that this that a lot of you are striving to implement certain changes and while you're proud of yourself and you're like we're getting there we're getting there at the same time it is very uncomfortable sometimes and I'm just, I'm seeing someone walking outside, let's say on their own, kind of like, I need to get out. I need to walk, have a walk outside and get some air. And, um, and there's a little bit of this heaviness, but spirit is like, just turn to me, open the arms, let the heaviness fall. The only thing that you are to be holding is the blessings, the jewels, the beautiful treasures that are inherently found within each moment. So right there and then where you are, where you feel you're struggling, you really need, Spirit is stressing the word need, you need to find something to turn to that is going to shift your focus. This is something that Spirit wants to acknowledge, that this past week has been very turbulent for a lot of people. And, mm, okay, what they're showing me is things that have happened politically in the world. I think mm -hmm. these past weeks, there's been a certain overturning of a certain legislation in the US that has, you know, caused a lot of grief to people. And so Spirit is showing me that this is also partially related to that, but not only. It's like people, I'm seeing someone in India, for example, you know what I mean? Someone who doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the US. So Spirit is showing me that people are faced with these growing pains currently, no matter where they are. And so some things may look like they have been this domino effect of like, yes, we are having these growing pains because something happened over there and it kickstarted a whole thing for us over here. But it's also like, no, it's individual, but at the same time together. Does that make any sense? So now let me focus on 
further messages because I feel like there is a lot to talk about today. Take some time with me right now to just center even deeper into the seat of your power, your core, your stomach, your root chakra, if possible, all the way down. Let's focus on the breath for a moment. And feel free to make the breath a little loud in your throat so that it, you know, it draws your attention back to the breath, like, right? Feel safe right here, right now, where we are. Right here, where you are at, you are safe. This is a safe space, this is a safe moment. And it's all yours. So creator of all beings, my own personal team of spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters and teachers, beloved ancestors, divine archangels, my team of archangels, Archangel Michael, Uriel, Raphael, my circle of archangels, I call you forth, my loved ones, to please be with me now in this moment. To divine love, light, truth and accuracy expand within me and guide me and let truth and accuracy be obtained in the highest good of all share messages with us that are going to be uplifting empowering allowing us to maintain and keep and, and harbor and cultivate and harness the peace the inner peace Keep our, our calm amidst whatever storms possibly raging outside in the world. So spirit, angels, bring forth please the messages that everybody needs to hear here on this channel, on this podcast for this week. So... Okay, so there is this energy here that is connected to the Capricorn full moon that from what I see is very financially oriented. I'm, I'm going to be blunt. <laughs> it's about money. It's about business. It's about finances. But it's a lot about being able to be self-sufficient. It's about self-reliance. It's about having enough. I'm hearing supplies. So anything around that is likely to be highlighted. And you may be seeing in the world how are talking about stuff like that. But I'm sorry, you guys. The audio collapsed and I had to restart my computer that is recording my sound. Things like these happen when you work with spirit. <laughs> energy you know it messes up with electricity and stuff like that let me check yeah it's actually working from what i can see you will have to excuse me i will have to be looking this direction every now and then just to make sure i catch it in case this happens again let's cleanse our space one more time it's a good idea <laughs> because already the message that we started with was kind of heavy <laughs> i'm gonna be doing this now every two seconds no i will not but okay my loves so back to what i was saying these things are financially oriented this energy that i'm seeing here um while the audio was dead i was saying that i was hearing the word supplies or supply and so a lot of these things might be um on the forefront um you might be hearing like the way the world speaks about stuff like supplies and stuff like that and then what the interesting thing is that what spirit is showing me is like this different reality. There's literally like parallel realities. I mean, I have the fool over here, but you know that I hardly ever work with the tarot just by reading the cards. I just, I, the way I, I work with the cards is very different. And that's why I'm also putting together a, a school so that I'm able to teach the way that I read the cards. I'm going to let you know once this is out there um but the way i see this and what i'm getting is literally these two different 
parallel realities. And so if supplies is your focus this week, then move into like pivot, move into a space of I am going to manifest. I'm going to take my notebook and every morning I'm going to be scripting. I am going to be doing EFT. I'm going to be affirming. I'm going to be speaking positively over my resources, my supplies, the things that I need that are of material nature. And the six of ones over here are showing us, are guaranteeing us actually a victory. But if you notice here, um, there's this bird that is flying uh, over the guy who is victorious and I'm hearing uh, eagles perch, eagles birds bird's eye view, like something that you see from, from above. And so this is the ability uh, of detaching from, let's say, the narrative or how the rest of the world is talking about a certain issue, such as supplies or whatever, this security. Um or what the world is expecting. Let's say you are looking for a, a new work, a new job, a new source of you know income or whatever. And the whole world is like, the market is suffering right now. There are no jobs. Mm, but then you go in and like the fool, you see the infinite potential. You understand that this is your... Um, this, this is your path, whatever you make it with how you focus on it is going to be your reality. And that's why, as I'm saying often, it's like the fool throughout the tarot, we see him miserable only when he's not in alignment. <laughs> okay, there's of course like these bigger lesson moments that we are all being called to you know, master in life, but still how these things are going to affect us is a lot up to how we choose to see the situation. And the fool has this ability to see things with a certain optimism. We say the fool is a little green, is a little whatever, but actually <laughs> this allows him to be super lucky in places and spaces and, and ways that others who know more, who have more experience, who have been beaten up by life way more. And so they have a certain not so positive expectation about how things could turn out. You know, the fool is getting things done or the fool is getting blessings in a manner that others just can't. Why? Because it is this ability that he has to focus on what, what he expects, what he wants to receive. Look at him, how he is literally reaching for this ball of light. You could say it's the moon, you could say it is the sun, no matter what it is, it is a pie in the sky. It is something that the, yeah, the rest of the world could be seeing it and saying, this is a pie in the sky. But the fool is like, no, I'm going to jump and, you know, if anything, I will have tried. And he, he doesn't mind also taking the risk. Look how close he is to the cliff. But he's going ahead and he's doing it. And you know what? If he ends up touching it, touching this ball of light, he's gotten it. But it all started there. It all started with him believing that he can have that vision and not just staying there, standing on the cliff and just looking down and thinking that the only way is down. And so there's strong, strong, strong possibilities and opportunities for someone <laughs> to win big time if they realize that the way the rest of the world is currently speaking about stuff such as security, supplies, being self-reliant, self having enough, whatever, um, it doesn't have to be your narrative. It doesn't have to be the way you speak about it. And that's so interesting. So we're having this full moon in Capricorn on the 13th, right? And Capricorn is a lot <laughs> about structure. Capricorn is a lot about responsibility, but also boundaries. And I find that here boundaries are needed in regards to exactly us not allowing the narratives of the world to infiltrate into our own 
process because if you find yourself especially this week uh, feeling lack if you if you find yourself confront like facing lack or realizing that there is something that you need realizing that something you don't have yet something is missing then you need to right in that moment pivot towards asking it petitioning for it and something that i have started doing these days has been to go right away into doing EFT first thing in the morning when I get up and these two couple of days I have done this even before I spoke to my angels which normally that was the thing that was coming first but even in order to speak to my angels I have been going into doing EFT meridian tapping um, and it has allowed me to actually elevate my energy before I even speak to my angels. And then from the elevated space, I was able to connect with my angels on a more profound level and ask petition directly for the things that I have, you know, wanted to, to ask for. And so a very simple thing that you can do, my loves, is um, you can start with a few of the points. If you don't know, EFT, meridian tapping, is literally you tap into various meridian points on the face and also in the body. And I'm going to show you some. Um, we're going to do a little exercise here together just so you get the hang of it and you can do it on your own afterwards. I feel called to, to show this actually. Um, and each... Each point of the meridians is associated to a specific uh, uh, organ, body, area, and also area of life. For example, there's the kidneys meridian, there's the spleen meridian, there's the, the stomach meridian. And, you know, for example, the stomach, solar plexus. So we are dealing with willpower, with self-empowerment, all of these things, uh, optimism. And let's look, okay, let's look at some points right so the first one that i like to start with is here like right on this side of the eyebrow and you can you know just take your fingers and tap lightly on both of them or you can just tap on one i like to do on both of them <clears throat> and so afterwards you go to this one on the side of the eye <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so afterwards we go to the side of the eye and then we go under the eye. So what do we want before we move on to the rest of the of the points? Um, let's just take something that I'm doing the last couple of days. I'm just repeating while tapping. I'm doing something like that. I am love I am peace I am safe I can let my stomach relax I can let my brain relax I can let my shoulders relax for I am safe right here right now so this I repeated here I am love I am peace Okay, all of the things that I want to literally like program into my, my consciousness. So after, after this point, we're going to go here. And again, we repeat our affirmations, our positive statements. Afterwards, normally we would go here. But I have found that these days my consciousness has been guiding me to also after this part to also visit this part here, which normally I have not seen in the books of EFT that I have. Um, I don't know what it is here, but I have felt guided to also tap here. And maybe this is something that you could be implementing as well. Maybe there's a certain benefit. So here, okay. Then here. And then here, right in the corner of the mouth. And then I would go here. So this little axis here is what I'm being called to do for myself these days. I'm showing it because I think that nothing is a coincidence. Maybe you were meant to hear this also. But normally, 
normally we would go from here just directly under here okay so if you feel like like leaving this part out just go from here on here and here the same thing i am love i am peace blah 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 okay <laughs> and then from here we're going to go to the collarbone here okay with both hands i am love i am peace um there's people who are doing it slowly i like doing it faster but i like speaking my words slower so that my brain has time to soak it in so after this part we're going to go here like under um uh, if you if you're wearing a bra it's almost right there where the where the where the strap is going around your body okay you can do it from both sides <laughs> might look a little bit like a monkey but it's okay you're hitting these parts there and you go i am love i am peace and you say the rest of the statements you want to put in i have all that i need i am supported okay and the last one is on the top of the head okay so i am love I am peace, I am safe, I have all that I need. All right, so and then you just take a moment, you take a breath and you're like, okay, how do I feel now? <laughs> so you can do this as many times as you want, but I find that it has helped me these days to do it really first thing in the morning. And then I'm gonna go and speak to my angels then I'm gonna go and have a walk outside. And so I feel like these, why I'm, why I'm mentioning these things is because I feel that these are relevant to the energies that we're looking at this week. We will need strong grounding, not only this week, actually, strong grounding. Spirit is bringing through that. Hmm. I, I don't mean to like scare anyone, but Spirit is giving me the sensation that things are going to be getting more and more intense. It's not that the world has gone crazy. No, it's just that there's this swell of energy. And it's like, what are we going to do now? Are we going to wait that the world changes, that the world like gets back on being a logical place? Surprise, surprise. It has never been, never will be. Because we also, each of us individually, we... Um, grow in a way and we see all the time different things that don't resonate with us and so it's always like hey what has happened has the world gone mad no it's just is what it is and it's important that we are finding our own that we're creating our own inner peace nothing oh my god I'm hearing this song do you know this song how can I keep from singing I think there's this passage that says no no storm can shake this inner calm while on this rock I'm clinging how can I ever come to harm how can I keep from singing oh this is amazing this is amazing that it came through I love this song so much and I actually I didn't expect it to come through like that um this is if you listen to this whole song, I think Enya had done it, but I love this version by a Celtic woman. It's a beautiful singer, Eba McMahon, if I'm pronouncing her name properly. <laughs> um, she's done a rendition of that, and it's like, how can I keep from singing? And the song starts saying, my life goes on in endless song above earth's lamentation. So this is literally no matter what is happening on earth all the lamentation all of these things my life goes on in endless song above all that so again i'm gonna show you the full card over here because i feel that this particular depiction of the full sums up very beautifully that which spirit is trying to show us and i mean this is not a new concept you have heard me speak about that those those of you who have been here before but i take the time to analyze it a little bit 
you know, more deeply today, because as I said, we have quite a lot of new alchemists in our midst uh, the last few weeks. And so this is, however, not a new concept. These timelines that we are moving into, that we are, we're switching timelines based on the emotional energy that we cultivate, okay? And so it's important that we take care of our mental health because that affects, you know, everything. Our emotions, our emotions affect the physical and, and then all of that affect the spiritual. And so we will need very strong grounding, Starting a while now, I have been saying that, but also we're going to be seeing friction externally in the world. And quite frankly, if we just remain focused on the very vision that we want to create for our lives, we're not, we're not going to be seeing these things even. We're going to be hearing from the news, but we're not going to be seeing these things playing out in our own, let's say, city, town, country, reality. And I have to say, there have been a lot of people that have written here throughout the times that, Alina, what is that? Are you promoting that we should not be looking to what is happening around in the world, that we should not have compassion, that we should be living in our own world? Um, exactly. We should be living in our own world but not without compassion. Wherever your reality is, let's say, overlapping with someone else's reality, someone who, for example, needs assistance, needs help, or wherever you are at, there's always something to do. There's always so many ways for you to exercise that muscle of compassion and, of course, like really being, you know, of service. So go ahead and do that. But do not, you know... You can help this way when you don't allow something to suck you all the way in. Because then you cannot help. You, then you are part of the problem. You, you are one with the problem. Then you are the one who also needs help. And then someone else from the outside needs to come also and assist you. Um, it's usually very hard to transcend <laughs> the situation once you have been really sucked into the problem. And I feel that... Mm, okay, maybe because this is a, something that is currently going on in my own world, but there's a few people that I need to be there for. And I have to say, I'm proud of myself that I have managed to be there for these people without allowing their, their pain to throw me off of my uh, space. Because like this, I can really reach out and I can reach through, I can yeah, I can reach through their pain and find all the right buttons that I need to push in order to help them remember that they can transcend their pain as well. And so just something to keep in mind. So spirit, spirit is like, move on, move on. We've analyzed this enough. <laughs> okay. I felt like analyzing this a little bit for the newer people. And so, Spirit, do you have something else for this week for my people here? Some people need confirmation about something. Someone is hanging on by a thread, I'm hearing. Someone's hope. Someone's hope is hanging on by, the, by a thread. Something they are waiting to happen and it's not happening yet. And... Oh. Yeah, but look at this, Six of Cups and the Star. This is meant to be. This is meant to happen. You need to hold on tight. You're in the in-between space. And you need to see how you nurture yourself while into this in-between space. Because if you lose hope, there's not a way that we can bring this to you. The, 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 um, the pipe is closing and it's very hard for us to push this thing through. So you need to make your pipe as large, as wide as possible um, to allow this blessing because it's a big blessing. I'm, I'm being, really, I'm being shown a pipe. <laughs> it looks like a sewer, but it's not dirty or anything. It just looks like this big metallic pipe and it's like this cube that spirit is passing spirit is trying to pass through and sometimes because of your resistance sometimes because of how focused with fr frustration you you can get we all can get um with noticing that this thing is not there yet mm, it's like the the tunnel 
closes and the tube uh, i'm sorry the cube gets stuck in various places and then it's like spirit needs to wait for you to relax again <laughs> so that the the tube opens so that the cube can continue its journey down to you and i'm literally being shown like down <laughs> And it looks a little bit, while Spirit is showing me this, like this tube where the cube is going through, the cube being the, the blessing that is coming to you. Um, it's showing me, it, it looks a little bit like, do you know in some depictions of, let's say, wormholes of like time, time holes of, let's say, yeah, like from parallel, parallel timelines, kind of like parallel universes where... Um, to access the one from the other you need to open this tunnel uh, i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but this is a lot like what this vision that spirit is giving me what it looks like which implies what i'm trying to say it implies that really some things for you currently are traveling are making their way all the way from different timelines from different realities to come to you and so it's not yes you need to be patient but you also need to understand that there is a certain embodiment of certain energies that is required for you to be able to tune with to, to align with blessings that are coming even from but really spirit is giving me this impression that they are literally they have you have asked for it and they are orchestrating divine intervention actually divine intervention has already occurred and it's just like now but it's a matter of time for you to start seeing that appearing in your life because spirit is showing me that they literally like you asked for something and they looked and it's they're like this thing is not available to them from where they are and so we go and we switch a timeline because she or he has managed to switch their energy through self-care, daily life, focus. Maybe I'm seeing someone is watching manifestation videos and stuff like that. And so spirit is like, they have switched their energy just enough for us to be able to do that. But they need to stay stable in that. They need to maintain it um, because it's like we are switching this whole timeline and we are streaming this thing like we're changing the direction of a river <laughs> basically but um if by the time we have done that the energy is not upkept then there's gonna be a wall and this thing will not be able to pass through to them so they need to maintain this energy so whatever it is that you are doing keep at it with extra focus really on self-care but really look this six of cups energy here which is can you can you grasp the energy of that and can you try to see how you create this energy into your daily life like what is it that you can do that will help you feel like that. Like you are this kid, look, and there's this ancestor. And by the way, this card really strongly speaks also about ancestors. Like ancestors assisting, assisting you to get what it is that you need. Something that maybe they were not able to acquire, something that you are maybe the first of your lineage to, to achieve. And this ties into what we often call generational curses or generational, you know, difficulties. Something that is a reoccurring problem, pattern, uh, challenge within a bloodline. And you guys, a lot of people are hearing of such stuff and they go, oh, this is a little bit out there. Like, dude, this is like fairy tale talk and stuff like that. But I kid you not, I know personally in my experience I have had to crush um, quite a few generational curses. And it's always this feeling of this really thick blanket over somebody, this energy that is impenetrable and you cannot overcome that. 
And in my experience, it has always been divine intelligence that came through and opened the path for me. I had to request it. I had to ask for it. I had to ask for a divine intervention. And so if you have asked for divine intervention, know that the angels have heard that and they are making a path, the star, they're making a path and they're literally are going, for some of you, they're going like the things that you have asked for. And let's say the, 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 I don't want to say curses, but you know, the blockages, the challenges, the difficult energy was so thick that literally the angels, your guides, your ancestors, your, your spirit team, they had to go to certain lengths to be able to orchestrate this shift for you, literally as far as bringing stuff from other timelines. And that's not to say, <laughs> because my logical brain immediately popped in and was like, spirit, does that mean that they themselves in that other timeline are not going to be acquiring um, these things? <laughs> but this isn't like, spirit is laughing a little bit. It's like, do you, I don't rob, like, I don't rob them to give to them. <laughs> it's like, no, in these other timelines, other choices have been made. And these things are not, I don't want to say not needed, but they are not preferred maybe, or, or the timing is not, you know, and there's a way to create in a different manner. But Spirit is just showing me that so strong is their dedication to you that they even have gone to really, to lengths in order to bring, to bridge that thing into your reality. And so we want you to stay, we, we need you. <laughs> we need you to stay pumpered up. We need you to stay in a place of you knowing, this, knowing that you are deserving of that. Look, really, again, look at this picture. I'm bringing it up again because I feel that pictures speak to, to our subconscious in a manner that is... You know, you see this picture and your consciousness receives what exactly what it is that it is for you. And so no matter how great I try to analyze or explain it, it's enough that you see this picture and you see, look at the ancestor. She's taking care of this little girl. You are that little girl. How does the little girl feel there? How, how nurtured, how nourished, how supported, facilitated? and bring that in and this speaks to me a lot of self-care especially taking care of the physical body again the full moon in capricorn that we are going to have speaks a lot about groundedness the physical body the physicality that's interesting because i have here like essential oils that i i have also been drawn to the past days and uh, you know, I my moon is in Capricorn <laughs> in my natal chart. And so whenever we have lunations in Capricorn, you can be sure that I feel them in a very particular manner. And so <laughs> I have been feeling drawn these days to work with things that come from the earth, from crystals. Also, um, the power of, of candles, of, of like the flame, and uh, colors like plants roots having a bath with with salts and with essential oils particularly i have here geranium and i have geraniums around me today also i was actually um asked in a dream by my spirit guides to surround myself with geranium energy specifically red geranium energy and I find that it's so stimulating. It's so stimulating. So if you also can help these days yourself with also visually pleasing things, like look, this red, so beautiful. So it just pops right away. And it creates, you know, I mean, root chakra, okay? <laughs> this groundedness. And so it's very important into that space of self-care, you're going to find that calm and peace is going to start emerging. 
and you're going to feel a sense of being guided, being led by spirit. And this anxiety, this nervousness on whether it's coming or not, it is going to fade. It's going to melt away. So this is the wanted thing because that's when you know that your resistance has dissolved and the tube is opening up and the cube is able to flow through and make its way to you. This is why <laughs> I, I, I love how spirit is always taking these detours, <laughs> these very elaborate like messages, but in the end, it's so profound what they actually want to say. So spirit, what else do you want to share here? What else is it that someone needs to hear? Also with the star card, it, this, this thing really feels like purpose. It doesn't feel, let's say, like someone wants, I don't know, a Ferrari or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe yes, but if this feels very purpose oriented, this feels like something that your soul have, has seen and has wanted it for a while. And spirit is like, I would have, you know, I would have never, ever, ever inspired you to look at that and you know, want to follow that if it wasn't for you. And so, death and justice we have here. Ooh, okay, spirit is taking me... Oh, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely did not want to talk about certain things that have been changing in the US around certain legislation, but... The spirit wants to talk about it, obviously. <laughs> so, death, justice, and nine of cups. This is particularly for my loves, for my alchemists in the US. Spirit is showing me to convey to you a picture of everything burning around almost like a tower moment, but not really the shock energy that the tower moment is, but just everything, you know, burning around, flames. And you sitting in the middle of that, but sitting with such peace, and it's like, I don't care if everything around is burning, this doesn't affect me. I'm going to, oh, that's interesting. The, the phrase, I'm going to slip through the cracks is coming through. And that's so interesting because just last week I was talking with someone about how through prayer and petition, I found that a lot of the things that were happening for a lot of people because of the lockdowns when we had the pandemic here in Germany, it was very hard you had to abide by certain regulations that I personally did not agree with and I did not accept to, you know, jeopardize my bodily autonomy. <clears throat> Look at that. These words are again taboo, right? <laughs> but anyways, I, I, I said to that person, it's interesting because through prayer and petition, I was always able to slip through the cracks in the end. The same energy is what spirit is trying to convey here. Look at that, the house from the Lenormand. I see someone staying at home or creating somewhere else or, or someone, I see people also leaving, looking to leave. Like I see people looking to make a home somewhere else, somewhere where it, it's going to feel like home, somewhere where it's going to feel supported, protected. Um, I'm hearing my interests are not being taken seriously here. Okay, for those who have no option, no choice, but to be right there where you are, know that what you are watching is the degeneration of... A long, long, oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. The messenger and this thing where they mummify. And this is the god of mummification and the afterlife, the Egyptian. How do you call that? The sarcophagus, sarcophagus. 
it's news <laughs> what you are seeing it's news not in the sense that it is new no it has been in the works for a for a while but you are seeing the clues you're seeing the news of this d death not in a manner that should scare you but in a manner that is god appointed and by god appointed i'm not talking about a god that is just deciding something and they're like this is my will this is my way i'm talking about a god as a as a unit as a divine intelligence that is a unit that listens to petition for example and it's oh, okay what spirit is showing me is it's a lot like plastiline or like clay it is something that is it is but it is also being molded by you by me by all of us collectively and so this clay is receiving information about what is detrimental to us and it has the wisdom and the ability to be able to see a hundred years forward 500 years forward and to know whether something is truly beneficial or detrimental or if something is detrimental now and can end up being beneficial for a while then detrimental again and vice versa if now something is beneficial but it might become toxic in you know down the line so then there will come the time to oh sorry baby uh will come the time to terminate it and so now this essence this divine intelligence it has come to the realization not to the realization it, it is the time now that we are seeing the steps that divine the divine is taking to reshape our world and i'm hearing I don't even have to do something. They are doing it on their own. <laughs> a lot of these things are going to prompt, a lot of these things that we're going to be seeing in the world are going to prompt different reactions and it's going to be the reactions that end up propelling us into a direction that actually resonates with our highest good. Okay? So right now what you're seeing is the dissolution of an order, of a way, of a structure that had been serving us for a while until it became very toxic. And now it's the time to put this to death. Look, the justice and the death and look at the sword she's holding. The authority of this sword to come in and sever, cut, put to death, destroy is coming from up above, is coming from the divine. And we are all, I'm hearing we're all players into that. We're all facilitating this shift, this, which is so interesting because just a while ago I had posted, I think like the previous week, I had posted a vision that came through about the shift of the axis. Spirit, spirit was showing me that there's a shift, a switch of the guards. It was, that's how he was calling it. And the up is going to be down and the down up. And so those who did not have their time, they are going to have their time. And we're going to, our priorities are going to change. We're going to be seeing things a little bit differently. And let's say, I don't want to say minorities, but let's say people who did not have their chance, they're going to be acknowledged. They're going to be seen. They're going to have their, their time in the sun. And so with the nine of cups over here and the house... It's like when you, okay, I'm also hearing getting the house, get in the house and I'm seeing someone, you know, like in the US, very often they have that. I mean, here we have storms and stuff like that too, but we never have had wild stuff. But I'm getting this visual by spirit of someone who sees, let's say a storm, like a, how do you call this thing? That's like a whirlwind. So someone sees this thing coming from a distance and it takes up roots houses and stuff and everything and it's like get in the house lock lock the doors lock the windows everything get down in the basement how would i know that you're supposed to go in the basement <laughs> spirit is bringing this consciousness forth that's interesting 
Um, anyways, it's a space of safety. It's a space of security. And it's a space of while the death is occurring, the death of structures, the death of an old paradigm that is obviously not serving us anymore, has become corrupted. Um, it's important that we pull into our own space of security, that we create this into our own homes, that we create our own little bubbles and that we do not allow anything externally to come in and disrupt that peace. It's interesting because just last week I was getting hints from my stomach. <laughs> Hear me out. Since I developed a condition, a health condition, I had to tune into my body more than ever before in my life. And so I learned to work with certain organs within my body, if that makes sense. And my stomach and my spleen and my liver <laughs> have been super vocal <laughs> since then. When something is not right, I get a pinch. I get a this, I get a that. And I have to sit down and literally put my hands like that over my abdomen and speak to them and say, so what do you want? I'm hearing, I'm listening. That's a good idea, Spirit is prompting me to say, also for you, starting to like literally put your hands on your body and literally listen to the various places. Like, do you feel anxiety? Where is it? Is it in your chest? Hands on the chest? What is it? What is it? I'm hearing you. Tell me, what is it that you want to tell me? And really, pick a pen and paper and start writing the first things that come into your head. You are basically, you could be channeling information from that body part, from that organ that carries a certain consciousness that actually is trying to give you information on how you can um, thrive in a situation that is other than that challenging. And I found it interesting that this past week, my stomach was telling me, this is going to get hard, so brace yourself, shield yourself. And you know, make your home a space of peace. And this here is taking me back to this message that I received for myself just the previous week. And honestly, here in Germany, news about a few things like Roe versus Wade and stuff like that, it hadn't really broken up until really like this week. And when I saw that, I knew that that was the thing that my stomach was trying to warn me about. That, hey, there's a storm brewing out there. Don't let that come in and disrupt your, your peace. And that's why, again, I'm going to go back into the EFT thing of I am love, I am peace. I am love, I am peace. I am safe, whatever that is that you need, okay? You guys, it's super important. The essence of the home, like creating, making your home or feeling, yeah, a space that is like home, that you feel safe in it and everything outside of that bubble, irrelevant. Irrelevant, irrelevant. It is crucial that we do this now at this point because I'm hearing survival for a lot of people, especially sensitives, empaths, highly gifted, intuitive people who are not yet in full um, mastery of their own personal energy and space. And I am in this group too, very often. Very often I also find myself that I absolutely need to shut everything outside to return again to my center. So it is going to be a matter of survival for us to tune into ourselves more than ever because exactly even body parts that are trying to talk to us through emotions, through precognitions also. You guys, Something interesting that happened this previous week, I don't know if you heard about that, that they were starting, they were restarting the CERN hydro collider, oh, a card fell out. I'm sorry, a card fell out and look at what, what is here. It's the devil reversed. We need to be very careful that we don't get caught into the various power struggles. And when I'm talking about power struggles, it's not just the actual practical thing of let's say, 
a legislation is not allowing us to do this and this and this and that anymore. It's also the energetic, spiritual uh, repercussions or things involved. Like how does that actually <clears throat> affect us energetically on a collective level? And do I actually want to be connected to this collective collective energy of grief, of anger, of, you know, taking action, however, is important by what spirit is showing us. We're not saying sit back and do nothing and let those who, you know, <clears throat> whatever, have their own agendas do whatever the heck they want. No, but it's making sure that we act from a space of, as we said, the nine of uh, cups energy and really not, and, and this security, look at the home card again. <clears throat> I'm hearing, I'm not phased. I'm not phased by anything. Good. That's what we need. That's what is going to help us survive and be a leading light also for others who need that at this time because they are not able to get up all on their own. Some of us are in a little bit more privileged situation, so we need to see that we are a light for this world and that we do not contribute also our energy into whatever darkness is being is being created by collective emotional reactions to power hungry, power grubs, power grubs I'm hearing, Con control things. Yeah, this is, you know very well what this is about, okay? I don't think I have to analyze this. I also, I'm trying not to analyze too much of these things because I know that YouTube by now is analyzing with their algorithms the language in certain videos. And whatever is controversial um, and you talk about it, they, you know, they shut you down. And I know that my channel suffered in the past when I was talking about various stuff that had to do with the pandemic. And so I'm trying not to cut the legs of this channel before it even starts. But at the same time, I'm trying to put out this message that spirit is uh, trying to turn our attention towards. So... Again, back to our essential oils. I feel like I need to bring in lavender. Because the energy of this segment of this little message, this little in-between wedge message was a little heavy. So, <laughs> I want to work with the Jane Austen tarot deck, which I only got this last week. I just went into a bookstore and I found it. And it was the only tarot deck in English. I live in Germany and you guys, it is such a struggle to find decks in English. Everything is in German, everything. And you know, these Germans, bless their heart, but they have to change the words always in a way that, you know, you have really like a rail, a railroad for a word. It's, it's fascinating, but sometimes, <laughs> you know, a girl just wants to have a deck in English, you know? <laughs> so, okay. Spirit, talk to me about what else is going on this week for us. What else is it that we need to be aware of? In order to thrive, mm, I want this one. Ooh, this sums up everything that we have been talking about. The moon, and specifically here it says, we all have our best guides within us, if only we would listen. So we talked about it, literally about working with the body, even on the level of listening to specific organs and emotions where are they located on the body tune in and see what what organ is giving me this emotion and really just take the time the moon the moon is all about going inwards the moon is all about these intuitive faculties that we possess and a few more cards here fell out and this is the sun the moon and the sun and look do you remember at the beginning when we were looking at the fool card that i was saying these this ball of light in the sky looks like the moon, looks also like the sun. So 
this is the nine of wands basically in this deck this deck is so interesting the nine of wands and the sun card at the same time anyways this card here says it is well to have as many holds upon happiness as possible here together with the nine of cups energy look at that and look at that well because you will need to implement this energy into your home if you want to survive if you want to thrive in this time of turbulence in this time of old things being put to rest i don't want to say necessarily being put to death but it is what it is right but again with the justice card this is all in divine order this is not something that we can stop but it is something that we can see to it that we are navigating through with the best outcome possible for us so that we are able to also disperse this light and this benefit also further into the world if the darkness is fighting in one area there's always light also from another area to come in and this is in no way this war consciousness that I'm trying to create here I try to be actually very careful with how I myself think about certain things because I do not want to be engaging in this us versus them thing because you know if that's what you're thinking about that's what you're creating you're going to be seeing that in, in your daily life you're going to be seeing that you all the time have to fight opposite of someone to fight to be heard fight to this this is that and so that's not what I'm trying to create here but at the same time look at what we have here we have the queen of pentacles and we have the five of pentacles the five of pentacles in this deck is the hierophant spiritual sovereignty spiritual stability spiritual also self-care the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is a lady that has self-worth is a lady that is taking care of the physical body also she knows how to take care how to nurture how to nourish herself and you guys there is something about taking vitamins taking supplements and also eating well like making yourself a good meal some people i'm seeing are exhausted because they are not eating properly they are not eating well it's like i'm tired because i've been working all day or whatever and so i'm just going to throw two pieces of whatever on on a plate and just eat it and then just go to sleep but no make the effort put some salad put some rice put some something and then your meat or fish or whatever you're eating maybe you're vegetarian maybe you just eat beans or mushrooms or whatever whatever that is though try to create a beautiful plate for yourself uh, and again, big on greens and salad, let's say also broccoli, uh, spinach, beans, stuff like that. Uh, I'm seeing corn also, uh, root beet. Mm, what is that? Spinach, celery, kale, carrots, peppers, like red, yellow, you know, put color, put color. In the same spirit, I feel like drawing some last cards from the Magical Herb Oracle. Um, for this week. Okay, the first card is Dreams. And this is a California poppy. And look at that. This card again has the moon behind it okay and we had here the moon card so this is about turn, tuning into the body in order also through dreams right um this is intuition this is insight turning towards the body to receive insight from ourselves meditation skull cap is the herb on this card meditation and dreams Yes, you guys, we will need to... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Harmony, repair, and change. Okay. We will need to really... Oh, Hawthorne 
is on the card harmony is a plant that you find a lot in boundaries in like you know where someone's field was ending and someone else's field was beginning and also they were considered to be keepers of gateways and portals and so I feel that I feel that this is interesting that Hawthorne is on the card harmony and so I feel like in order for us to maintain this harmony we will need to implement those boundaries we will need to implement this saying listen this is where you end and I begin and doing that in regards to the madness of the world and exactly like our like protecting our home life so that we are able to be in this nine of cups energy while the rest of the world is maybe burning but the world i want to say this spirit is is telling me to say this the world is actually not really burning with the cards repair and change the world is not really burning and it's 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 a fire that actually when it is over it leaves the earth replenished and rejuvenated it makes the the, the ground the soil more fertile it's like a volcanic activity that after it has burned and purged everything the soil is so fertile it returns yielding tenfold the blessings and also yeah with repair and change an elder is the herb on the on the card change elder is taking me literally to the word elder like an elder someone who is an elder someone who is of the previous generation someone and, and it, this takes me back to the message of the shift of the guard and i'm going to link this video in case someone needs to hear that so things are being repaired right now things are being and it might not look like that one bit one bit because it's like how for example certain ch changes or certain things or certain mandates that are obviously against the people how is it possible that this is repair well it is the reaction that is going to be um, triggered as a response to that that is going to kick start the shift, the change, in order to repair the wrongs. The, I don't want to say the wrongs, but Spirit is giving me the sensation that something has been festering for a long time. Has, something has been rotting underneath the wraps for a long, long time. And this is what we need to be, what needs to be repaired. But while this thing is happening, while this sarcophagus of the old world is being prepared so that this whole chapter can be laid to rest, it's important for our own survival that we implement those mental and spiritual uh, boundaries to keep the harmony, to keep the peace. Because otherwise, if we are sucked into this, in a manner that doesn't allow us to pull our heads up for air mm, we will not be able to be of any help and we don't want that <laughs> we want to be able to continue like spirit is giving me this sensation that after all of this you're gonna be needed because we're gonna be needing hands someone has to rebuild someone has to rebuild okay my beautiful loves I'm going to check in case there's something else that Spirit wants to share. But I feel that overall for this week... Let me let me pull some cards from the Archangel Michael deck. I feel like Archangel Michael is an energy we need strongly right now. And I feel that he is around. Like this, this energy that we identify as Archangel Michael. This very protective energy. Oh, look at that. A new beginning and a fresh start that's what we are on the precipice of and so we must not be scared by the by the chaos and the collapse but at the same time we need to see that we take care of ourselves in the best ways possible right now because our strength is going to be needed someone needs to rebuild 
take your time with this decision exactly take your time do not rush also do not rush into <laughs> do not rush into you know this anger energy that kind of makes us react and just dive into things but it's not to our benefit it's to our detriment and so it would have been better that we keep the cool keep the calm the inner peace again this song is coming through um, what is it yeah no storm can shake this inner calm while on this rock i'm clinging how can i ever come to harm how can i keep from seeing this is what is coming through again this is so interesting <laughs> i probably changed five keys while singing these two <laughs> lines um you have okay this card says you have created the situation and you have the power to change it but this is not the message that i'm getting from it this time around what i'm getting is the picture of this angel that has this unicorn posing over there and it's like it's painting it's creating a painting notice the creator substance like the, the the point of it is that we are creators we are the ones that are holding the brush and the canvas so it is up to us what it is that we are creating through that how we are counteracting counterbalancing the the chaos of the world and look this card your home is protected by the angels but if you look at this picture it's an angel that is going around the borders borders careful around the borders of a home of a house so literally where the world stops and our own personal space begins and it's holding these uh, tibetan no these are like these balinese um bells that we use for space clearing and so this angel is going around the borders and is using gling 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 is using these uh bells to dispel the heavy energy is space clearing and so in the house in the home create a temple create a space of peace create a space of this nine of cups energy we need to be able to maintain the harmony harmony also the, the with the hawthorn we spoke about it right the hawthorn grows in places that denote that this is your space and it ends and this is my space my space okay anything else from here this song is playing non-stop in my head this situation is already resolved see everything is in divine order we gotta trust that we will be okay but it's important that we do our part when it comes to maintaining the energy that is going to be able to counteract the chaos of the world i'm going to close it here but again maybe you want to hear the song how can i keep from singing uh, by Celtic Woman, the rendition is most wonderful, and I find the live version super, super moving, even more than the studio version, because, you know, this is often like that with artists. We do a studio rendition, <laughs> and sometimes, you know, there's certain guidelines that we have to abide <laughs> by, and then live. And a life situation is really, you just, you're thinking about nothing else. You just let spirit move through you, through the voice, through the instrument that you're playing. And so I find live renditions to be so much more impactful. So my loves, I thank you so much for having been here. I love doing these videos here for you. Please let me know in the poll on the community tab if you want to see something different or more of these videos i have a poll you can click on the thing the option that you feel resonates more like you want more of these weekly energy update videos and uh, with channeled messages and and cards do you want more uh, educational videos what what is it that you want do you want more pika cards i personally feel like my content is guided a lot by spirit 
Mm, I create what I feel like is needed in that moment, but I, I'm just so curious and I love to see like what you guys want so that I can combine my objectives with your objectives and like this we can have a successful uh, community. Hmm, this tea is smelling so beautiful. <laughs> Irrelevant. Okay, thank you so much, my loves. Have a good one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video here on Elena's Alchemy. Goodbye for now.